So uh, I'm the Hjalmar Gislason, founder and CEO of a company called Data Market. We run uh, a portal called datamarket.com where you can find all sorts of uh, data from secondary sources, so open data, uh, but also data from market research companies, financial markets and so on. So if you need any sorts of data, numerical data for your plans or for your business plans or for your decision making or whatever, you should be able to find it on, on Data Market. So what is your business model. Are you selling these data for other companies or what so, are you precisely doing? So the business model is for datamarket.com is twofold. First of all we sell uh, services. So all the data that is open uh, uh, and free, freely available on the internet is still open and freely available on datamarket.com. Uh, but if you pay a monthly subscription you will get access to additional features. Uh, allowing you to analyze the data more deeply, uh, to be able to download the data in various different formats, to create reports uh, that kind of give you always the latest data that matters for your business and so on. Um, uh, and these are features that you only get access to if you if you pay. But just to find the data and search for it and kind of easily visualize it, that's free. Uh, second, the second part of the model is that we, uh, for data that is not open and free, we sell access to it. So if for example, for example, market research data. Uh, so let's say that uh, you are you're looking for data on the telecommunications market. There's quite a lot of data out there from open sources, from uh, organizations such as the UN or the uh, you know local statistics offices and and so on. But there's also uh, plenty of data from research companies. Uh, and this data will not be available for free. So what we do is that we make deals with the research companies, uh, get their license to redistribute the data, and then we take uh, a little bit of, of the uh, amount that is paid for, for, for that data. So, uh, so in short, we sell t two things. We sell services on top of all of the data, and we sell access to premium data that is not open and free. Uh how do you provide the data? Is it a simple data stream or is it so kind of the, Excel sheets or So what what a user sees when he comes to our site is actually a little bit like Google. You get a search box and you type in the keywords for the type for the data that you're searching for. Uh, that will return uh, data sets from all over the world, from the UN, the IMF, the uh, Euro, from Eurostat from the World Bank, uh, all in all we have about 60 published data providers on our site. Uh, and uh, by clicking one of these data sets, you immediately get a visualization of the data that is underlying. Then you can kind of dive deeper and analyze and compare data from different countries, data from different uh, parts of the world, uh, and so on and so forth, uh, finding the data that uh, matters to you. So often the visualization will be enough, but you will then also be able to download the data if you want to um, use it in Excel or, or in other, uh, other software on your computer, or you can actually connect to it via an API. So you can connect either live data into Excel or connect it into other solutions such as a business intelligence uh, platforms and, and so on and so forth. So what we've done is basically we've connected all these data sources that are in different formats in different places uh, and can be relatively hard to find and, and get by. We put them all into our system in a uh, single normalized format that then enables uh, all the same features on top of any data that is in our system. So it's a uniform way to access the data. So, whereas you know some of it is originated in Excel sheets, <coughs> others in proprietary systems on the uh, internet, on web pages in PDF documents and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So it will be, you know, we, we're taking the mess of data that is out there and making it uniform and easy to use in a, a single uh, in a single uniform way who does provide the visualizations is it only you or could people provide this as well and put back online and so, feed the system yeah so what, what we do we have certain visualization capabilities within the system so you can uh, draw simple types of charts you can uh, add markers so if there's an event that kind of affects what's happening in a line chart, for example, you can add those things in. So very simple visualization tools. <coughs> now, anybody, you know, the system makes the visualization, but you, any user 
can uh, create selected data, create the, the markers and kind of configure the visualization on top of the data that, that, uh, that so to tell the story that uh, he or she wants to tell. Uh, and that's really what we're what we're aiming for. We've gathered all this data. It's a, an enormous amount of data. All in all, we have about 125 million time series of you know all sorts of data uh, in there. Uh, and we haven't kind of custom made uh, visualizations on, on, of every single combination of them. It's something that you can do as a user. And what we, what we want to give people is a tool where they can not only find the data, but they can also uh, gain some insight and tell others the stories that they have actually found in the data. So be that something about, again, the telecommunications market or about uh, where HIV is heading in the world or something like that. So how could a huge company like Allianz or Deutsche Bank, who do have access to World Bank data, I'm sure, how mm -hmm. would they benefit from your system? So uh, first of all, uh, the focus of <clears throat> well, our, our experience is that the focus of many companies when it comes to data has been on internal data. They've uh, done huge projects where they uh, where they've uh, where they've introduced business intelligence solutions that gather data from from the sales system. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> from their sales systems, uh, from their uh, from their salary systems, from kind of all the internal systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, making dashboards and key performance indicators that they look at and so on, uh, but it you know everything everything that's secondary everything that comes from anywhere except from inside the company seems to be an afterthought and is very seldomly used uh, in you know to to any large extent. Uh, we actually know that there's plenty of data out there that can help pretty much any business make uh, better decisions, benchmark them uh, themselves against the market, against all the companies and so on and so forth. Uh, and we want to bring this into the data thinking of, of companies. Uh, yes, uh, I do agree that a huge company would have access to World Bank data, but they will not know about all these great data sources that are out there, let alone have access to them in a unified format where you can kind of have a single point of entry like data market to get access from from dozens or even uh, you know soon hundreds of uh, different data providers but wouldn't this mean for them i mean if you look at allianz or if you look at these huge huge companies they already struggle to get their own internal data you know which is distributed all over the world in mm -hmm. probably 25 different uh, databases from the system, uh, why would they be interested, you know, in, in using an, another external system which is not related to theirs? Um, they would, first of all, they would use the data from us within their own data infrastructure. So if they've gone and done a business intelligence, you know, uh, and introduced a business intelligence system in their company, they will probably use our data through that same system. So that it will, you know, they will be able to use it in the same dashboards and, and the same way and so, so on and so forth. Uh, why would they want to use it? Uh, well, I think, uh, or we actually know that you could run a company perfectly looking just at the internal statistics and still go bankrupt because there are all sorts of externalities that actually affect your business. So if you, are, if you aren't looking at what's happening out there, you will not be able to run your company efficiently. So if the, if the reason for the data, for your data efforts or your business intelligence efforts is actually to run your company better, you need to have external secondary sources, but not only internal data. So with, with what kind of clients are you already working? I know you just started. Yeah, so we started uh, the international offering that we have. Uh, we started that in January this year, 2011. So uh, we, the, the, the uh, types of companies that we're working with already are research companies, uh, financial institutions and media companies. These are the three types of companies that have shown the kind of the fast that have been fastest to pick up on what we're doing and, and realize the, the, the potential in it. Uh, but we pretty much believe that almost any business can make better decisions by looking at the best available data out there. Yeah. You know, just if you're running a hotel, for example, 
you need data about the tourism industry, you need data about what prices of hotels are in different parts of town or different parts of the world. Mm. Uh, you will need uh, exchange rates, you will need all sorts of external data to run your business efficiently. Uh, but uh, I don't think uh, all hotel managers necessarily have a data state of mind. So. Mm. For example, the financial companies which are already using your services. Yes. Uh, what are they looking for? Can you be a little bit more precise? What they are, what kind of data are they using? What yeah. are they doing with the data? Uh, do you have any idea how they use it in ways of visualization? Do you have any ideas about you know feedback? Did you already get some feedback? Uh, sure. So uh, we uh, we have. We have a few companies in the financial sector already as, as customers or as clients, and they're doing uh, different things. So we have, you know, we have what you would expect. We have the kind of analytics departments uh, looking for all sorts of data and using that in their own uh, analysis of the different kind of parts of the markets out there. So that's, that's kind of what you would typically expect. What is also very interesting is that we've been helping uh, a couple of clients uh, to get their own data out there. So uh, let me give you a very specific example. Uh, a bank that we're working with wants to establish thought leadership in the geothermal uh, power industry. So uh, they have been producing reports for several years and this report has become like a you know the industry standard. The, the, the best report on the geothermal industry out there. So they wanted to know how can we take this to the internet. So what we help them mm. do is to source all the best numerical data out there from different research companies, from different international organizations and so on, and put up a dashboard that they run on their own website, but with our technology, to uh, be the destination for anybody interested in that industry. So uh, now, you know, they are pointing their clients and everybody they meet and when they go to trade shows and so on, they're pointing them to this uh, dashboard uh, that, you know, run under their brand, but gives them, you know, it gives everybody a view at all the latest and best data in mm -hmm. the geothermal industry in one place. So uh, that's another example of, of kind of how we work with, with clients. And <coughs> this data also becomes available on, on datamarket.com for others to use. And then it's attrib attributed to, to them. So if somebody comes across it there, they will actually, you know, learn about the bank and their geothermal, uh, geothermal activities. So what are you saying is basically that uh, commercial companies like, like banks mm -hmm. make their data available on your platform? And they sell it. Is this right? Or um, in in this case, they're giving it away, uh, and it's not all their data. Some of it is their yeah, data made by their own research. Yeah. Others is sourced from other places, but they are doing the or we are helping them doing the aggregation work, so that you will find all this data in one place. But by giving access to this data, <coughs> uh, in some cases, for parts of it, you need to register to be able to access mm -hmm. it, but you don't pay for it. But this gives them or and their brand uh, high visibility within this industry, and they uh, gather new marketing leads. They gather new kind of they they know more and more people in the industry and become known as kind of the market market leader in that space. Mm. So yes, by you know this is an example where uh, by opening their own data, uh, a company can actually do new and better business. Do you have any other examples? I think this might be very, very interesting yeah. for uh, our we, audience. I actually, one, my favorite example of uh, a type of company that should open the data and actually has opened their data for their own benefit are airline companies. So if you look 10 years back, you would, you know, uh, all the airlines were selling tickets on their own websites. Uh, but they were, you know, they wanted you to come to their site and buy the ticket there. And they didn't even want there to be any sort of search engines that could search across different, uh, different airlines. Uh, nowadays, every single airline, every, every airline that kind of really knows what they're doing, exposes their data in the best available, the best possible format for search engines to crawl it and so on, because now people go to sites like Kayak and Dohop and 
Egipto and other uh, and and uh, others to search in a single place, and then it's really really important for the airline to be a part of that search result and to have the best uh, the best available information for the uh, user of that search engine on there because it actually drives traffic to your site. I think the same is true of uh, hotel bookings, although that's not you know gone as yeah. far still. But if you would actually expose uh, to the internet openly how many rooms you have free and and so on uh, this would allow others to kind of uh, to refer uh, right. to refer new customers to your hotel so you would have better occup uh, occupancy rates yeah so uh, the last thing actually would be what can people expect from you at Petersburg yeah so uh, we will talk about uh, the importance of, of uh, secondary data and open data to, to businesses, a uh, couple of examples of how you can actually use it to run your business better. Uh, we'll probably touch up on uh, visualizations and how that plays a role in helping people uh, not only find but also understand the data and kind of how this whole uh, data state of mind uh, applies to the to the world of, of open data and uh, the data that you know that doesn't originate within the company but comes from elsewhere and can help you run your business better. Thanks a lot. We are looking forward to this. Thank you.